Hi, my name is Debbie Lash and I'm your yoga teacher for today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already and leave me feedback or give me a thumbs up if you found this class helpful and you enjoyed it. Today we're going to look at yoga poses for thyroid disease. This is when the thyroid hormone is under functioning and the symptoms are often fatigue, memory loss, dry skin, for some people weight gain. And if the thyroid is overactive, then some people suffer where they can't actually put weight on. So today's uh, practice, I suggest you take three to five sun salutation A's and then maybe three to five sun salutation B's so you really warm the body up and you can find those on my channel if you're not sure. But really good to start with a bit of heat in the body. So start lying all the way down on your back, bend your knees and gently lie vertebrae by vertebrae coming all the way down. And we're gonna set up for bridge pose. Most of you will be familiar with this and it's bending the knees, feet on the ground. And I like to snuggle my elbows into the side of the body, look straight up and pressing down through the toes, inhale, float the hips up. And then exhale here. You're going to stay here for 10 cycles of breath. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. So we're bringing the chin to the chest. There's still a little bit of a natural curve in the back of the neck. And if it gets too much and you've got a block or a book, or, you can sit it under the sacrum and make it slightly more restorative. Okay, so know that there's always options. Now, some of you would like to keep the hands in robot arms because it's really nice way to assist bringing the uh, back of the arms down to lift yourself up. Some of you will like to grab the edges of the mat so you've got a bit more support. And some of you will be able to clasp your hands together and reach your hands towards the heels of your feet. Good. Two more cycles of breath wherever you are. That's it. If you're ready for the Ujjayi breath, soft whisper in the back of the throat. And last cycle of breath here. Inhale, lift the hips, press down through the big toes. And exhale, lower all the way down. Good. Our next pose is called Plow Pose, Halasana. So just scoot yourself forward a little bit on the mat. And when you're ready, set the pose up the same way you were in bridge pose. And we swing the knees back over. And again, don't look to the left and to the right. So maybe look at the video before if you don't, aren't familiar with these poses. Now some people are gonna walk their hands um, onto the back and walking them down towards your shoulder blades. Others, again, are gonna grab the edges of the mat. So they can use the back of the arms and some of you might even clasp the hands together here. Good, and then stay here. You're looking straight up between the thighs. The inner thighs are rolling up towards and the legs are super strong. That's it. Sometimes I like to point the toes and come down onto the top of the feet. But again, there's a lot of activation in the neck here. So just bringing blood flow and oxygen to the thyroid gland. Ujjayi breath if it's pulled away. Three more cycles of breath, just like this. And again, you can walk yourself up onto the shoulders if you feel it kind of needs a little bit more positioning. And then to lift up into our next pose, shoulder stand we bring the hands up make sure the elbows are hugging into the midline and bring one leg up at a time and then pause here so you're pressing down to lift up now what i see a lot in class is the feet hovering towards over the face you want to press the heels back so your heels are in line with your hips you might want to flex the feet maybe you want to stay here and point and flex and, you know, you could do these exercises daily. 
you could do them every other day, maybe even once a week. So it's just wonderful to have all these tools available. And all these poses are great, even if you're just feeling a little lethargic, and you don't even have a thyroid problem and you just want to do a nice amount of um, back bends and things to bring you onto the mat. Good. Coming back through plow pose, point your toes, inhale, lower. And exhale here. Some of you are going to stay here, use the same hand binds or the mat. Some of you like to bend the knees and giving yourself a nice big hug. I like to bring my hands around the back of the thighs just to bring a bit more gravity and weight down. And stay here, 10 cycles of breath. So again, the neck is round, bringing blood flow and oxygen to the thyroid gland. And we're standing on the back of the shoulders. In gyri breath. And if you suffer with neck problems or if there's any electrical pain in the neck, please come out of the pose. And when you're ready, grab the edges of the mat, sharpen the legs so they're nice and straight and strong, and then lower yourself down to the Hands on the mat acts like a break. Lowering yourself down vertebrae by vertebrae. Point the toes. Bringing the legs down nice and slow. Good. All the way down. So the counter pose to bridge pose is called Matsyasana. Fish pose. And we bring the elbows, snuggle them in towards the side of the body. Spread the fingers. Get the palms down, the forearms down, point the toes so much. And then I imagine a hook on my chest with a chain coming down and imagine the chain lifting the chest up, inhale, dropping the head back. So now we're opening the neck and activating that thyroid gland. Good, and you stay here. Some of you might want to play with lion's breath, inhale. Lion's breath, stick out the tongue. Good, two more, inhale. Lion's breath, exhale. And one more cycle of breath. And the next inhale, we press down through the elbows to lift the head and then gently lower yourself down. The transition coming out of that pose is super important. So just uh, take your time and safety first. From here, draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug and a squeeze in. We're just gonna rock and roll three times. Nice massaging the spine. And then we're gonna bring ourselves all the way up. Good, come up onto your knees. And we're sitting up for Matsy Asana fish pose. Oh, sorry, Matsy Asana. We are setting up for Ustrasana. Ah, okay. Pause here. We're going to set up by bringing the hands to the sacrum. And then press the thighs forward. Inhale, squeeze. And then exhale. Lift the chest and just stay here. Some of you are going to stay here with the elbows squeezing in. Some of you might tuck the toes under and then drop the hands down. There we go. Keep pressing the pubic bone and the thighs and the hips forward. Keep the chin to the chest for the first round. And gyre breath if your breath has slipped away. And when you're ready, inhale, lift up. Exhale, sit back down. And just close the eyes for a moment. Turn the palms up to receive the pose. And just notice you'll feel the heart rate elevated here. There's a real shift of energy in Ustrasana, camel pose. And then gently blink the eyes open. And we'll take the same pose again. 
with the option to gently drop the head back. So again, if you've got neck problems, maybe dropping the head back might not be a great idea. So set the pose up the same way. Squeeze, press the thighs forward, inhale. Drop the hands back. Exhale, good. Chin to chest to start, inhale. Maybe play with dropping the head back. Exhale. Good, keep pressing the thighs and hips forward, inhale. Lion's breath, exhale. Inhale, lift yourself all the way up. And exhale, sit down on the heels again and receive the pose. Good, just gently close the eyes down. You feel your energy swirling around, bringing buoyancy and lift. So really combating and counteracting that fatigue. Come forward into plank pose, onto the hands and knees first through tabletop, plank pose. Knees up or down, lower all the way down to your belly. We'll start with low cobra, slide the hands back, squeeze the elbows in, forehead to the floor. Point the toes so much your knees lift, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, stay up. Five cycles of breath here. Press your elbow heads down. That's it, maybe draw the chin slightly forward, activating the thyroid gland. Legs are lovely and strong, pointing through the toes. Inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Good. Bring the hands underneath your forehead and just bend the knees wiggle the hips side to side and i'm going to play with danurasana so flex the feet reach one hand back some of you will be able to grab the ankles others will grab your um your feet tops of the feet walk the knees back together just release the forehead down shoulders soften press the pivot bone and the hips down like you did in ustrasana when you're standing on your knees so press them down into the floor and then lift the knees and thighs up and then as we kick the heels back we lift the chest squeeze the outer knees in maybe lift the chin and five cycles of breath here Breathing down into the heart space. Inhale here. Exhale, lower down. How did that go? Good. And we'll just do that one more time. So again, windshield wipe of the legs. And set it up. Okay, walk the knees, forehead lowers, soften the shoulders, and inhale, press the pivot bone, and the hips down, lift the thighs up, inhale here, exhale, lift up. Good, stay for three to five cycles of breath. Just notice where you can take the struggle out of the pose, maybe soften the jaw, Soften the tongue. Notice how hard you're breathing. Maybe you can soften the breath. And one more cycle of breath. In through the nose. Exhale, lower all the way down. Good, I hope that went well. And some people find those poses quite um, confrontational because we're reversing all that forward folding that happens so sometimes we feel super tight and unflexible so just come and lie all the way down and take a full body stretch inhaling through the nose reach through your fingertips and a big sigh out draw the right knee into the chest and 
a nice passive twist to neutralize the spine after those delicious back bends. Change sides. And we're going to set up for our final resting pose, Shavasana. So just short and sweet. Take the feet as wide as the mat. Gently roll the shoulders under. So there's a nice little lift in your heart space, palms facing up. And we'll let go of the practice by letting go of the breath and return to normal shallow breathing. Fully surrender to this moment by letting your body surrender down into the mat, feeling supported by Mother Nature, Mother Earth. I encourage you to stay in Shavasana. Three to five minutes is a good amount of time. Otherwise, start wriggling your fingers and toes. And lifting the arms up and over. Coming into the full body stretch. Inhaling from your fingers. Exhaling out through the legs, out through the feet. Draw the knees into the chest, giving yourself a well-deserved hug and a big squeeze in. Rolling to your right side. You can pause for a moment, bringing yourself all the way up. Cross-seated position. Sit up nice and tall, close the eyes down. Feel the effects of the practice. Noticing the shift of the energy, the shift mentally and emotionally in your mind. Physically in the body and most importantly in your breath. And let's seal it all in, bringing hands at heart center, bowing chin to chest in gratitude. Taking the prayer to the third eye. I'm humbly bow. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. It really is an honor and a privilege. Subscribe if you haven't already. 